welcome to a new happy learning video. Look at all these images. Check it out. There are so many plants. There are lots and lots of different types. The truth is that unless we are in the desert, wherever we look, we are almost always surrounded by plants. We all know that plants are living beings that are born, grow, reproduce, and die. And many of them are so beautiful. <gasps> there are so many plants and so different that today we're going to learn how to classify them according to their size and type of stem they have. Do you remember what a stem is, don't you? Look, plants are divided into roots which grow downwards towards the center of the earth. Stems which grow upwards and give support to the plants and then the leaves. Well, according to the stem, and its size, plants are divided into trees, shrubs, and herbs. Trees belong to the category of woody plants because their trunk can be used to make firewood to make the fire in the fireplaces. They have hard, tall, thick stems called a trunk. The branches come out at the top and that is where the leaves grow. Trees are usually large like this pine tree which serves as a home and a larder for this woodpecker and also for these squirrels, these eagles and many other animals. They are useful to us for many things, such as protecting us from the sun by giving us shade on a hot day. Shrubs are also woody plants. As you can see in the pictures, they are shorter than trees and have several hard trunks. The branches grow very close to the ground and are of medium size. There is one shrub that I love because it bears a very tasty fruit, the raspberry. Yummy! Ah, and don't forget this bush full of tomatoes. How delicious! Oh, and the rose bushes, because I love the way roses smell. Herbs have a non-woody, thin, flexible stem and are green in color. They are the shortest, smallest plants. One of the most famous herbs is the daisy, which I love. And so does this bee. Another famous herb is the clover. Because according to legend, if you find a fourth leaf clover, you will have good luck. Although we at Happy Learning believe that luck is found by being curious, studying, and learning many things. And now you've learned even more things. <laughs> Goodbye, friends. See you in the next video. Search us and subscribe to Happy Learning's YouTube channel.